Welcome, Divine Feminines, to your message today from the Divine Masculine. Let's get right into this reading and see what's going on with your Divine Masculine. What are they thinking? What are they feeling? What are their intentions? What is going on in their heart and mind? I've never fallen so deeply in love before. I want you so badly and I don't know what to do with this feeling. I'm not used to this passion. It's just too much. And for some DMs, the intensity of the connection and the intensity of the emotions and the intensity of the physical connection, the passion, the intimacy can be too overwhelming. It's they have, they have a hard time separating their emotions from the physical, okay? And for some of the DMs, I do feel that that's something that they are accustomed to doing. But with you, it's different. They can't keep the physical and the emotional separate. And for many DMs out there, it's too overwhelming. And so... They're not accustomed to this much passion. They're not used to being loved. They've never fallen this deeply in love before. And for some DMs, it's just too much. And so this can cause them to run. This can cause them to ghost. This, them ca this can cause them to put a disconnect between the two of you. Everything always happens for a reason. That's how I know this separation was all planned to bring us closer together in the end. And many times, divine counterpart connections, divine counterpart relationships with a divine masculine and divine feminine, they will come together so that they are aware of each other's presence, so that the connection forms in 3D. But then they have to individually go off, learn their individual lessons, go through spiritual growth, go through spiritual awakening, deal with their issues, deal with their stuff, do some inner work, get rid of all of that gunk that is preventing them from being able to be in a fully committed, love-centered, heart chakra opened relationship. And many times it's the things that we learn during that separation phase that causes us to grow, causes us to evolve, causes that spiritual awakening to happen. So that when we do come back together in union with the divine masculine and divine feminine in union, the two of you have evolved so much. You've matured emotionally, you've matured spiritually, so that you have the power that you each need individually to maintain this strong, powerful spiritual connection, okay? And then once you come back into union with one another in the twin flame reunion, then you have additional lessons that you learn together while you're in union with one another. I want to move on and let you go, but I just can't. Something keeps pulling me back to you. I feel that we have unfinished business to handle first. Yes, you do have unfinished business. DMs. I am talking to the DMs. I'm not talking to you, Divine Feminines. There is an awareness that there's unfinished business between the two of you. There is an awareness that the story between the two of you has many more chapters to write and that you need to write them together in the love story, in the book of your love story. Many more chapters of your love coming together, the things that you do, the adventures, your passionate moments, uh, what, what, what you're going to do in terms of like moving your connection and your relationship forward. The DM has just come along and pressed the pause button on your connection and on your relationship. But this will get moving again. You both have to deal with what you have to deal with individually. And we talked about that with this card here when we talked about the separation. You have growth. You've got spiritual awakening. You've got spiritual awareness. You've got personal growth, dealing with issues, doing inner work, doing what you need to do for yourself to become the most powerful, authentic, spiritual self that you can be. So that when your union does come together, it has this power, it has this solidity, and it has this stability about it. Letting you go was the hardest thing I've ever had to do. And I do feel it was hard for the DM to let you go. And for them, I do feel it was a question of love and fear. And their fear for some of these DMs out there was just greater than their love. They feel the love. They know the love. They can feel it within themselves. But then that fear of... The heart saying yes, but the head saying no, I can't allow myself to do this. What if I get hurt? What if I get hurt? What if they leave me? What if she abandons me? What if, what if, what if? And so that is what caused them to let you go. But it was hard on them as well, Divine Feminines. I'm not running from you. 
I'm running from myself. Actually, what they're really running from is this growth that they have to go through in order to be able to embrace this divine connection, this divine relationship, this divine counterpart relationship with you. They know that they're going to have to grow and evolve. They know that they're going to have to grow up, put on their big boy pants and be able to meet you halfway and put forth the effort and energy required to maintain this connection. Being apart has opened my eyes to many things I couldn't see before. Many times during a separation, divine masculines are able to see things they couldn't see before because they had blinders on. Now that you're not in the picture and they are aware of what is really creating the problems and the chaos and the confusion in their lives, which is not you, it's all their other stuff, whether it's issues they have to resolve or exes that are creating drama for them or even third parties or karmics that they're involved with right now. It has opened their eyes being apart because you're not there supporting them. You're not there enabling them to stay in a dysfunctional or toxic relationship. You're not there supporting them with um, any job problems or financial is issues or family crises that they're dealing with and going through. They're having to deal with it all by themselves. Okay. And this is what is giving them this awareness that being apart from each other is something that has caused them to have mental clarity. It's causing them to have a breakthrough. It's causing them to be able to see the forest for the trees. It's allowing them to have an epiphany and see the reality of the situation between the two of you. Nothing and no one compares to you, and it never will. And even if they are stuck in some third-party situation or karmic situation that they need to free themselves from, please just take what resonates with this reading and let the rest go. Not everyone has a DM that's stuck in a karmic situation. They do compare everyone to you, and there is no comparison because you have set this mark. And this mark or this bar for you is way up here. Other people aren't hitting that level. And they know this. They see this. There's an awareness in them of this. And they know that they have to get back to you because you are the one that brings them joy, that brings them happiness, that brings them hope, that brings them that stability that they're looking for in love. I know we are deeply connected. See, so there is an awareness, as we were talking about in the very beginning, that there is a very deep spiritual connection here. It's not just about the two of you having a good time and adventures and going on dates and taking weekend holidays and getaways and great passion and great sex and whatever. It is really about this deep spiritual connection that exists between the two of you. And they know that this is a deep spiritual connection, which is again, part of the reason why they're running because they do know that with a spiritual connection comes this growth. When they're ready for that growth, they will walk into that growth and allow it to happen and go through the process and do what they need to do to become the person that your DM needs to become. I can't stop thinking about you. See, no matter what they do, no matter how hard they work, no matter if they're going to the gym or taking weekend trips with their friends or playing basketball with their buddies or whatever it is that they do, they can't stop thinking about you. And I do feel for some of your divine masculines, they actually really do try to stop thinking about you. If I focus on my job, if I focus on this project, if I focus on building this ship in a bottle, whatever it is, they think that they can kind of focus on something else and keep the thoughts of you at bay. It doesn't work. It doesn't work for them. They are aware that thoughts of you come out of nowhere because this connection is very powerful and it's very strong. Let me grab some more cards here. What else does the Divine Masculine want to say to the Divine Feminine? What does the DM want to reveal to the Divine Feminine today? What does the DM have on their mind? I want to feel that way again. So they do want to feel the way that it felt between the two of you when you were together, when you were having these passionate moments, when you were spending time together, doing whatever it is that the two of you enjoyed doing, okay? They want to feel this deep connection again. 
They do want to have it. And so I do feel that they're going to create the space to allow this connection between the two of you to come back into reality, even though you're apart right now, no matter how long it's been, no matter what the dynamic is, no matter what the situation is, I do feel that they're going to try to do what they need to do to bring this connection back into union. There's an awareness within them that, that this is something significant in their life, that this is something special in their life. What else for, let me see what else we get here for, what does the divine masculine want to say to the divine feminine? I want to tell you how I feel and they will tell you how they feel. They will express it. They'll show up. They'll apologize for their actions, for their behaviors. They'll explain to you why they did what they did, why they're ghosting, why they're running. They will be authentic. They will be honest with you. They will apologize to you and they will speak their truth. What else does the DM want to say to the divine feminine today? So many things remind me of you. And when things remind them of you, they do take trips down memory lane. They think about what should be. They think about what could be. They think about the times that you spent together. Okay. All the memories that you shared, doing whatever it was that you did. They relive those memories. They relive those experiences because they still feel this connection. They can't get away from it. They can't stop thinking about you, this connection, or the love that they feel for you. What else does... What else does the DM collective want to say to the divine feminine today? I love you. I love you. And I really don't need to expound on that. And they do love you. There is an awareness within them that this love connection between you is deep. It's profound. It's significant. It's special. It's unconditional. They know this. They know that you are the one for them. They just have to get out of their own way. They have to release their fear. They have to allow themselves to embrace this connection so that they can truly experience this divine, unconditional love that exists here in your connection for the two of you. This is your message today, Divine Feminines from the Divine Masculine. Please take a moment to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel and type 1111 to claim this message. Thank you so much for watching.